Hello and welcome back to the channel or just welcome if it's your first time here. Please do consider subscribing. I post crafty videos every Friday and sometimes a cheeky bonus video on a Wednesday. So today's video is a haul from Every Crafts a Pound. I've seen quite a few hauls from here and I was always put off by the postage. It was sort of like eight pounds or something, but they've started doing free postage if you spend over 40 pounds, which is pretty easy to do on their site, I will say. But I did rope in a friend of mine, so I've got some of her bits as well. She says I enable her, but how can you not share a deal when it's that good? So, sorry Hannah, but yeah. So a few of these bits are hers, um, but I'll, I think, yeah, I'll point those out when I get to them. So I won't show you flip throughs of the paper pads right now. I'll do them all at the end. So if you want to see flip throughs of these, um, stick around till the end and I'll show you because I know that not everybody wants to see like full flick throughs of every paper pad so I'll start off with these ones which are the Paper Addicts 10 by 10 centimeter paper pads they're much smaller than I thought but that's my fault I should have got a ruler out and had a look so these were a pound each so I got one of the It's Cold Outside and so did Hannah so that's those then I got the Magic Moments and the Happy Holidays ones. The All Is Bright and the Craft Joy. Then Hannah also got Magic Moments and I got the Yuletide Wishes ones. So that's that for those. Then she picked up the Dovecraft Lost and Found 6x6 paper pad. She did want the 12x12 one which was also a pound so probably better value for money but they'd sold out so um, she got that one then I picked up two of these Santoro Gorgeous Girl dies one of these is a gift and one is for me um, I just thought they were a brilliant price these were five pounds each and I think they're usually something like 20 so you get the die and then you get so many papers eight exclusive coordinating papers it says it there um, and you just use those in like your Sizzix die cut machine or that sort of thing so that's those. Then I picked up quite a few of these Simply Creative Christmas Chunky stickers. So I got the um, advent numbers because I'm going to be giving December Daily a try this year and I thought they would be fabulous for that. Then I got two of these um, Christmas icon ones, one for me and one to send in friend mail. Another one of the number stickers, probably to share with a friend. And these two gingerbread and stocking ones, again, one for me and one for a friend. Those are all chipboard, so I thought they were a bit different to a bit of texture to things. Then Hannah picked up this one, which is Leave a Little Sparkle Wherever You Go. And I picked up this one, A Whole Year Older and A Whole Year More Awesome, for um, birthday mail. I picked up these WizKids mini pegs, because they were 30 pence, and I just thought for 30p... I don't think you could get them that cheap anywhere else. Um, I might alter these. I might leave them as they are, but I thought they were a great price. These Dovecraft Premium Glitter Tags, Time to Sparkle. These were also a pound, and I thought they'd be great as layering pieces. This is another one of Hannah's, some twine that matches the Lost and Found collection. That was a pound as well. I don't know if I mentioned that the chipboard stickers, the Simply Creative ones that I showed you, they were all a pound a sheet, so... Um, and then I picked up two of each colour of these. So I picked up the star gems in the gold and the silver. These were a pound a pack. I thought they were metallic, um, but they're not. They're just your usual sort of crystal, um, which is a bit disappointing, but I'll still use them. So one of each colour for me and then two to send out in Happy Mail. I got a pack of these Time to Sparkle Snowflake Brads. I thought they were just a little something different to add to mail, so grab those. Next up, I saw this Let's Celebrate paper pad, um, and I've loved this since I first saw it on the um, on their Instagram. But it's just so expensive. I think they sell them in the range, and they're like fifteen pounds a pad or something. So I picked this up for five pounds from Every Crafts a Pound. I thought that was definitely worth it. It is a bit ripped up here, but that's fine. It's only the front sheet, so um, so there's that one, and then. I also grabbed this 12x12 Tropicana one. I already have this and I paid full price at the range, but this was a pound on every cross a pound and um, 
I thought it would be great to send to one of my friends that liked the collection, so that will be going to her. So I'll show you a quick flip through of each of the paper pads now, starting with the Let's Celebrate one. Then the Tropicana one. Then I've just zoomed in so you can see this a bit better. This is the Yuletide Wishes pad. So for these, I think you get 10 sheets, 20 designs. So you get five sheets of each design. Then the It's Cold Outside one. Happy Holidays one. All is bright. Crafty Joy. And finally, the Magic Moments pad. So that's it for the Every Crafts a Pound haul. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I bought and you'll pop over and check out their range because they have some really brilliant things at amazing prices. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I post more crafty videos. Thank you, bye.